Uh oh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna do a wire tuck. Um, there's a billion ways of doing this. Uh, this is just the way I'm gonna do it. So, enjoy. So, picture you have your wiring harness coming out of there and your fuse box sits right here. So, you'll unbolt that. And then you'll have five plugs on the bottom of the fuse box after you remove this guy, which goes like that. So you'll do that. I actually have a whole interior harness that's extra. So I'll actually show you what plugs and where the harness comes through the firewall and everything like that. So if this is sitting in the engine bay, this is what we were just looking at. So you'll unplug all of these pull that off so this is all the fuse box wiring and then this is your engine harness wiring and this is your headlight harness so this goes through the firewall right here so what you want to do is you want to push this boot in pull all this stuff through the firewall and I'll show you what that looks like because I already have that done on my car, so. So where I said to push all that wiring through, that boot sits right about here. So you'll pull all that through and then you'll strip it back just so you can kind of redirect some of the wiring. Like uh, this is the fuse box wiring, these are the engine harness wiring. And then this is your headlight wiring. And then, so I cut some of that sound deadening mat just so that it would sit flat. And I'm actually gonna mount my fuse box to one of the existing um, HVAC boxes hardware so and it'll still fit in there with the glove box so then on the passenger side you'll want to uh, underneath the dash there'll be these two little clips there's a brown one and a gray one you want to unplug those first and then pop the boot out this way and then the whole thing comes out so then you have this harness that you just disconnected from underneath the dash and it's just bulky so you strip back all the wire loom and everything like that and bam that's what it looks like I'll strip back see a lot cleaner thinner kind of feed it wherever you want lengthen the wires if need be but I'll show you that in the time lapse.
So once you get that stripped back and taped up, however you want to run it technically, um, this side is gonna need a little bit more finessing because this isn't quite long enough for what I wanna do. Um, but yeah, you'll plug these back in underneath the dash, figure out a way to run your engine harness wires up and over the steering column. And uh, how I did it is the headlight harness I kind of just left untaped. That way I could cut and extend it once I remove my fenders. Um, I did that on both sides. So this side is still completely untaped. And uh, I'll uh, show you guys how to put that fuse box back up in there. So obviously you'll plug these five plugs back in to this. You will put your cover back on. I just put it right up here on this bolt. So then you got kind of a rough idea on how it's gonna sit. So this is my engine harness, three plugs, and it can go right over there to that hole which I'm gonna either kind of oval it out so that I can put a different boot in there and seal it all up. And then my ECU wires are still like bare because I'm not sure where I want to mount my ECU. I don't really want to put it into the stock place. I might mount it up here off like a plate or something. And then on this side, so I'm going to have to probably extend these two plugs so that they can reach that hole because I have to go up and over all of that. Whoever said wiring was fun needs smacked. So this is sort of what I've gotten so far. And this uh, fuse box is like pretty sturdy for only being held on by that one little bolt. And then, like I said, I'm probably gonna put my ECU or something mounted to like a plate right here. And then these wires go over to that hole. And then I still need to extend those wires for that side but it's coming along pretty good. I like it. And like I said, this is the way that I'm doing it. Don't get me wrong, there's a billion ways to do this. And if you have a different way, it's whatever way works easiest for you. So this is the way that I think will work. If you wanna do it this way, that's fine with me. And in no way is this a DIY video. This is just like a, documentary if you will um just wanted to kind of document it and we'll see how it works or if it works who knows but uh yeah i think that's all the time i got for this video if you liked it leave a like if you want to see more content subscribe and until next time see ya